Chris in California. Hi, Chris. What's on your mind? Hi, Dan. Hi, Danette. <laughs> First time, long time. Hi, Chris. Five nine one thirty eight. Hi, Dan. Okay, so I respect you and I listen every day, but I feel like your interview yesterday with Dave Roberts was a little softballish. Okay. And I just don't understand why you didn't ask him about the now severe injury to Gavin Lux and and the other major changes that the team is going through this year. The the news broke after that interview, but I did uh, I did think about that. I knew that Lux was injured, and that's uh, pilot error on my part, Chris. But uh, this is spring training. Uh, could I have asked about the new additions? Yes, I could, but. I think the relationship that we have with Dave is more of a uh, one-on-one type thing. We did talk about the rules and, you know, how the Dodgers or how he can take advantage of it. But you're right. You know, could I have been tougher on him? I guess. Uh, Did you say that last year when, you know, I got him to guarantee they were going to win the World Series? But, you know, I'm not going through everything on a national level. If KLAC has Dave Roberts on, then they're probably going to ask more specific stuff. And they might go, you know, position by position. But, you know, Gavin, we found out later that he's out for the season. Could I have asked for an update? Absolutely. You're absolutely right about it. And I hope it's rare when you question me with uh, softball questions. Because I, I try to get answers for you. But also I'm trying to entertain a national audience. Not just local. And this show is carried by, you know, the the station that carries the Dodgers. And hopefully we're able to, whether it's Clayton Kershaw or Dave Roberts, whoever we have on, that we ask appropriate questions. But also I'm trying to entertain a nation. And could I have been better? Absolutely. You know, Chris, there's not an interview that I do where I couldn't have been better. There's not an interview that I do where I don't second guess it. So it, I, I don't take it lightly. Um, I take great pride in the ability to interview, but you have an opinion, and uh, you know there's some validity to that. Should I have asked about Gavin Lux? Absolutely. Gotten an update, but understand the approach that we have is probably different from you know Petros and Money doing the afternoon show. Thank you for the phone calls. Uh, more phone calls Thank coming up. Thank you for up. ruining my day. No, and, no, I'm uh, all right. I'm all right. No, no, <laughs> I just, you know, we, we take great pride in that. Uh, Magic Johnson will join us <laughs> coming up. <laughs> How can I screw this up? Because I know that sometime next week you're going to be like, well, I could have asked Gavin Lux the question, but. No. It, it'll, it'll linger for a it minute. It will. It will. I'll go, ah, I wonder what Chris would have asked this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have gotten some. We got magic coming up. Oh, I know. I know. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Come on. Don't be petty, Dan. I'm not. (laughs) Take a a break. Maybe I could uh, have some moonshine here coming up. Mid-show moonshine? (laughs) Late-show moonshine.